Hi, hello everyone. My name is Kota Miyamoto. I investigated about the business differences between the United States and Japan. So I'm gonna talk about the three big differences of that. So the first one is about the individual and the group. Basically, the company in the US, each individual have a big responsibility. In other words, it means not only executive people, but also normal employees are required special leadership. On the other hand, in the Japanese company, although the individual contribution is evaluated, the achievement as a group is more important. It means if that group working doesn't bring a great achievement, the individual contribution will not have a good evaluation. The second one is about the speed of decision making. As I said in the first one, US company regards individual as important. So the boss takes responsibility to give the freedom for decision making to each individual. That's why they can make the decision quickly. The disadvantage of this is often the big problem will be happen because of the lack of thinking time. On the other hand, in the Japanese company, there is the decision making system which is like an escalator. According to this system, the opinion brought from the bottom to the top and the top will make all of the decisions the disadvantage of this process is taking a lot of time however instead of that the big problem will be few third one is about the differences in the importance of result and process in the US company, they often evaluate the result than the process as a more important thing. Therefore, they don't use money and time for the process so much. On the other hand, in Japanese company, they are willing to use a lot of money, time, and people for the process because they consider the process is more important than the result. There are more business differences between the United States and Japan, but I don't have enough time to explain all of them at this time. So I finish this YouTube video until now. Thank you for listening. See you guys.